all new 2024 model Ferrari Puro Sang. All you have to do is pull the door towards you and then you have the door opening fully automatic and step right inside the Ferrari Puro Sang. The display setup here is just doubled on the passenger side as well. <laughs> guys, I am Mr. Automotive and today it's finally time to be welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all new 2024 model Ferrari Puro Sang, the first ever Ferrari SUV. But however, Ferrari doesn't even like to call it an SUV, they rather call it the FUV, Ferrari Utility Vehicle. In today's video I want to give you a first look of it, showing you the exterior, the interior and then we will be listening to the sound. So let me tell you more about the car in specific. This is the Ferrari's first ever SUV and it comes with a 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 and this one is producing 715 horsepower with 760 newton meters of torque. We do the 0 to 100 sprint in 3.3 seconds with the Ferrari Purosang all-wheel drive system that we have here. The VMAX is limited at 310 kph. Yeah, we are here at First Motors showroom in Dubai and they have this car for sale here. The price of this one is at 3.7 million dirhams which is approximately 950,000 euros which they are asking for it because it's one of the first ones here in the Middle East. Let's get right into it and let me tell you more about the exterior and the interior highlights. As you can already see very special door setup that we have here, an extremely fantastic looking design. Let me just get right into it and start with the walk around. First things first when you just look onto the side you would uh, even say that the Ferrari Puro Sang is just a new GTC4 Lusso which is a bit higher sitting just because of the way they uh, designed it, uh, the entire roof line, the entire setup up here it doesn't even look like a competitor for let's say Lamborghini Urus or Bentley Bentayga whatever it's really cool the way that Ferrari has done it here we have a Ferrari emblem here in the front it's really cool distinctive and extremely slim looking headlights here you can see the LED strip here and then you have the headlights sitting all around it's pretty cool you might think that you have the headlights inside there but these are actually air intakes but the headlight unit the main one is sitting right underneath it is pretty cool also with the air curtains the way they shaped it the entire front bumper is uh, really really Ferrari like it's looking extremely elegant and still yet very sporty design I can't wait to see a more yeah sportier version of the Ferrari Puro Sang I think we will be seeing something that in the future Future. Talking about the side and something that I really admire is the way they shaped first of all the uh, roof line and second of all the way they have put suicide doors in this Ferrari FUV. It's pretty cool the way they did it. I also kept them open. The cool thing about these doors is that you can fully close them automatically. Here you go and that's how the door actually closes fully automatically. All you have to do is pull the door towards you and then you have the door opening fully automatic and we even have suicide doors you can also just open it the way you want it it's very smooth it's pretty easy to do that uh, something very special on this Ferrari Puro Sang is the way they shape the fenders in general so we have the side here the entire fenders is like standing outside and you have this little gap in between which I think will make it so hard for let's say Mansory or aftermarket tuners to be putting a body kit on these kind of cars. Maybe they did it to prevent that but anyways I really like the way they shaped it and also underneath I am not the biggest fan of the material that they have used here because it looks really cheap. I mean imagine you're paying almost let's say a million for this car here and I mean from Ferrari you might pay 400,000, 500,000 depending on the spec and you get this kind of material which looks like a yeah, brushed something I'm really not sure it's a matte finish but you could even say that it, it's plastic from far behind talking about the wheels in general we have uh, these very nice looking five spoke wheels these are one of the biggest Ferrari wheels with 23 inches in the back you can see 
the Brambok ceramic brakes here for the Ferrari Puro Sung looking extremely nice. So here we have the rear of the Ferrari Puro Sung and the way they shaped it and the entire tail light setup here it instantly reminds you of a Ferrari. These tail lights even remind me of the new 296 GTB cars. It looks pretty nice very slim and also extremely bold and very very sporty shoulder setup here no lines at all which makes this extremely elegant and yet sporty the exhaust tips here are round finished and you have this yeah, frame all around and the real exhaust sitting inside uh, it's full finished in chrome and yet again the material they have used here i'm really not uh, quite sure about that i mean the entire setup with the gray finished car and yeah this part here finished in matte whatever it even is looks pretty elegant and decent but i wish that this would come in uh, carbon fiber instead the rear diffuser is extremely huge and really really massive really underlines the the suv characteristics that we have with this ferrari puro sang on top you can even see this nice little spoiler let's say with a cool airflow through and then we have the ferrari initials right over here sitting apart from that let's just get right into it and let me show you the interior to step inside all you got to do is have the key with you here we have it that's the key ferrari puro sang key here you even have the puro sang initials on the key you can just unlock the car and then as soon as you're ready all you got to do is open and step right inside the ferrari puro sang the inside for me is quite revolutionary i mean i really love ferrari interior designs and we have an extremely nice looking setup here the seats the center console the dashboard everything looks extremely futuristic we have the ferrari entrance boards here this door the main door opens like quite regular with frameless windows here double glass for less sound in the inside we have yeah the speaker covers all around and in the interior we have high quality materials looking extremely uh, luxurious let me just jump inside and give you a closer look if you want to close this door all you got to do is pull it towards you and just close it so there's no uh, funny gimmick on that one or uh, maybe i just don't know about it in the interior we have a very cool finish because something that I really appreciate on the Puro Sang interior is that we have a symmetrical interior because apart from the steering wheel, the display setup here is just doubled on the passenger side as well. So you have the exact same display. It kind of looks like that, even though we don't have these covers. Just copy paste it on the passenger side is really really cool and this is the first time I saw it in the inside any luxury SUV FUV whatever we have the Puro Sang details in the interior let me just start the ignition here we have the Ferrari oh, animation I'm a huge lover of animations I'm not quite sure how to activate the co-drivers display maybe it just needs some time ah there we go we have the animation here so here we go we also have a nice rendering of the car in there and you have quite a few features it's also not really irritating the driver as you can see as i don't have a direct view i can't really see i, I can barely see things on the screen right here as i'm like facing towards the road so it's pretty cool uh the main display here sitting in front of the driver so there is no main main display here in the center uh, there's just a driver's display and there's something that i really don't like about the ferrari puro sang and the way they did it because with this one you have also the navigation and also all the car features and settings you need to do that all with this display and it's not touch all you have are the buttons on the steering wheel here you can see whatever you have also the indicator sitting on the steering wheel you can start the engine on the steering wheel you also have uh, the light setup and also here the driving modes that you can just set as soon as you also do that let me just show you on the display you can just switch it around from the uh, ice mode and then you have the wet mode the comfort and then you go up to sport and then you can go to esc off pretty cool the way they also did that with the animations as soon as you move the toggle here on the steering wheel uh, let me just give you a close look on what we have here on the center as soon as you lift that up you have two cup holders also very nice and minimalistic design yeah apart from that here you have the gear shifter buttons up uh, closing and opening both windows uh, in here you still have this small little display to set the temperature is also the ac control unit in general is just this part looks also really minimalistic and very very fine we have the seats of the ferrari puro sang we have no sunroof or something that's been missing out for me personally 
uh, we have some very cool looking Ferrari seats here for black with the yellow contrast stitching with the Ferrari emblem all around. These look really cool with the perforated leather with the Dynamic Alcantara. We have the Puro Sung uh, floor mats here and we have the Burmester speakers here. Really cool audio. I love that. And we have a two plus two seater in the back. You have plus two seats and I was sitting in the back. It's quite comfortable, but you don't have a lot of headspace due to the falling roof line. So I'm 190. Yeah, I was already hitting my head with the roof, which is rubbing on the roof, but it's still quite uh, comfortable. Really cool. Let me just lift that one here up. You have a few, yeah, bits of space, and also we have USB-C charger ports in there. Apart from that, yeah, that's it for the interior walkthrough with the Ferrari Pro Sung by first motors now we will be starting up the engine and as soon as we do that we'll be also then jumping outside to give you a sound check from the outside